Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And this is kind of a video that maybe a lot of you might not know what I'm talking about when I say this, but you know, we'll see. So if you ever watch a lot of my live streams, which are on DLive, which is part of Steam it, which don't worry about that. It's not important. Um, I talked a lot, like I would say since I started streaming on DLive and even before that about like PUBG specifically on Xbox, all right? And on Xbox, um, PUBG is known for not working at all. Like, even though it's an early access game, I mean, the frame rate is horrible and all that stuff. And for those of us that buy consoles, um, focus on me, camera. For those of us that buy consoles, we don't, like, we have to have frame rates, right? We have to have a good frame rate. We don't get consoles to have to upgrade to reach those frame rates. So when you release a game with a bad frame rate, like ARK, or PUBG, we don't like that. We absolutely don't like that. Now, with PUBG, I always talked about how, you know, Microsoft uses PUBG, this early access game on Xbox, as like, yeah, it's the system's big game right now. You know, for some reason, you know, they can't get Halo right, but they can get PUBG right somehow. And, you know, it's their big game. But I was like, it's a disgrace of a game on Xbox right now with its functioning you know the gameplay is awesome right PUBG, the way it if it works properly it's an amazing game but you know the it's just a disgraceful game with you know vehicle health not working guns not working the lag is insane but it was insane until a couple days ago with patch i think it's patch number nine and if you play PUBG now it freaking works like the frame rate is pretty good. It's, a, I would say, I haven't like tested it, you know, like filmed it and slowed it down just to see what the frame rate is, but it's smooth enough to where you don't get screwed over by lag anytime. All right. And now that the frame rate works, the guns work too. Like the micro Uzi actually shoots really fast and you spray and pray people. Same with the Thompson, which is another gun that really just sucked in the other game. The M16 works you know it still works the same but basically any automatic weapon now actually works properly because it's not lagging anymore and it's it's amazing how they did this now not only did they do that but they fixed the vehicle health because the vehicles man they took so much damage from just little things like crashing and stuff that it was only really worth it to take vehicles if you needed to get somewhere fast other than that, they were completely useless. And now they're not useless anymore. And it's like, all of a sudden, PUBG is fixed. What did they do wrong to make it not fixed? I want to know this. I want to know what Bluehole did to like make PUBG work again. Or work in the first place. Now, obviously, if you've ever looked at the controls for PUBG, the controls are still pretty bad. They work better because the game's not lagging, but like dealing with your sensitivity in the game sucks. There's a big issue right now. I believe, you know, this is only, this right here is an opinion and conspiracy, but I think that keyboard and mouse hookups are like to fix, to make the thing I think it's a controller. I think keyboard and mouse hookups are a big issue because, well, PUBG isn't optimized to be a, uh, it's not optimized to be a, you know, controller-based game yet, so keyboard and mouse have very obvious advantages if you ever play it. Like, it's very obvious where a keyboard and mouse player would have an advantage. Is this game still like the computer version? Absolutely not. I still think on Xbox, um, if Pub PUBG versus Fortnite, I know it's apples and oranges, I still think Fortnite is a better game because it's, you know... Yeah, PUBG, I see PUBG as more of an intense game because it's longer and you have more at stake. But without intensity, PUBG has nothing over Fortnite. Fortnite is just a better game. And I think if PUBG works all the time, doesn't have all these random crashes or these random disconnects, um, it would be better. Something I actually did notice that also got fixed with this lag it issue fixed is bullet hit registration like something that happened in PUBG was guns had uneven fire rates and if you guys ever watched 
um, if you guys ever took the spawn area and right before the timer ended, you started shooting, your gun would shoot at a different fire rate than when the spawn area was done and the game was working at like 30 FPS for like five seconds. It would have a different fire rate. And they fixed that. So PUBG, I think now, I can, I can see it being the title that brings people to the Xbox over the PlayStation for now. But I think they better hurry up because if if EA doesn't mess up Battlefield 5 and the EA dev said that Battlefield's going to have a Battle Royale mode, they better hurry up because if, if, Battle, if EA builds a Battle Royale mode that isn't pay to win, it will blow PUBG's game out of the water. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. You know, is PUBG on Xbox kind of good now compared to what it used to be? Share that all in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, stream, and post, whatever I decide to make.